Well, welcome to another uh, episode. I did say I was going to do it every day, but I only did like one last month. I got pretty busy <clears throat> in my business or whatever. And also last month, good news, I started uh, managing my first uh, portfolio. I, I brought in about $5,500 on the management or whatnot. So outside of my own money that I'm managing, uh, managing, you know, stock portfolios, I've also taken in a client, you know, uh, and I manage your portfolio. Uh, it's about $5,500. And I got, a, I got a relative who's about to invest about $2,000. So, you know, by mid-month, by mid-October, I'll be managing about uh, $7,000 up under my management that I'm responsible for growing. And I trade these through options, right? So my thing is, why options, right? You should trade options for one. Well, why options? Options because you can make a lot of bang for your buck with a little bit of buck, if that makes sense. For a little bit of money, you can make a lot of money with options. For the same amount of money or not more, you have to risk a lot more money with stock. You know, you have to put up a whole bunch more money to try to make, you know, some of the percentages of money that option um, traders are making off the percentages of their money. I mean, quite frankly, anybody who's ever traded uh, stocks and now trade options or who knows about options or who understands options will always tell you, I don't even, I would, I would never trade stock again in my life, right? Uh, if I... Um, because I know how to trade options. Stock options, man. You know, I can control $100,000 worth of any product out there that's liquid enough to have options on it. <clears throat> I can control that for a specific amount of time, right? I'm bullish or I'm bearish or, or whatever. I can control it for a certain amount of time, you know, because I anticipated making a move or not making a move. You know, one thing about options that you can do, that you can't do with stock, is the price doesn't have to move for the underline of the stock. The stock price doesn't have to move, and I still can make money. The stock market can just go sideways. It doesn't go up, it doesn't go down, I can make money. You can't do that with stock, you know. One of the things with stock, people all think that you you know, you just got to be bullish, which means you just need to know or you just think that the market's going up. So a lot of people think that's the only way you can make money. You just got to buy a stock, hold it for a long time, and then hopefully it goes up and you make enough money, you know, two, three, four, five, ten years later, however long, you know, you plan on, you know, operating a stock or whatnot. Options, you know, I can make money every Friday. I can make money Monday, I can make money Wednesday, I can make money Friday. I'm talking about option exp expirations. Each option has an expiration. I was just, uh, I'll, I'll get back to that. That was my phone, but it's rude. We checking my phone while I'm trying to do this. Anyway, I'm just getting used to this whole podcast thing because October 1st, uh, what, what, what better way to get out there and, and start with the number one? On a Monday, if that, right, somehow, subliminally, that makes sense to me. Like, number one, it is Monday. It's the beginning of the week. It's the first of the month all at the same time. So let's start today doing something that we we haven't done before, right? So if you want to open up the brokerage account, because you're here because I said options. If you want to uh, reach out to a mentor, or if you want to start that business, or if you want to take that class, or if you want to start anything, why not now? You know, this is this is the moment. But anyway, options versus stock. You know, it's no way I can never get enough money to still operate stock. Maybe if it was an IPO, right? If maybe it was a company that just, you know, came onto the exchange and I want to buy, you know, a lot of shares of it. I can, you know, buy a whole bunch of that and just hold it long term, four or five years, like till rate. The weed stocks, you know, we just had Tilray became an IPO in July and it's already up on over 1100%. It was at one point in time. It shot up to $300 and then it went all the way back down to 98. Now it's all the way back up. Today, October 1st, it got all the way up to 173. 
Now it's settling down right around 160. But that's a weed stock. They got Canopy. They got Aurora. You know, these are weed stocks. These are CBD. No more, you know, these are technically they're pharmaceuticals, man. They're pharmaceuticals, man. And I see other people, man, on, on, on this online. I see another guy. He's giving, you know, stock advice and all this stuff, man. But he's frustrated, man. And the reason why he's frustrated is because he has no plan. All right? One thing that I teach people is you got to have a plan. You got to have a strategic type, you know, plan. You do have to have some intuitiveness about yourself. But um, if you just want to get something technical, man, you know, that's technically that's how you should trade. You should never be flustered or frustrated unless you're taking too much risk. If you're taking too much risk, then you're putting the whole ship at, at jeopardy, you know, and you shouldn't be doing that. But why options, man? Why options? Like I said, you can make money if it goes up. You can make money if it goes down. You can go make money if it goes sideways. You can make money if it stays in place. I can buy. I can buy a call. I can buy a call right now for how much money? However much money. I can buy it for ten days. I can buy it for five days. I can operate it for thirty days. I don't have to buy and hold, and I can make money today. I can get in it today, and I can close out of it today. It's not day trade. People, want, people will ask you, are you day trading? Like day trading is a bad thing. You know, if you if you're a successful day trader, if you're good at what you're doing and you're a day trader, it's not a bad thing. Some people look at trading as a bad thing. Like, what? What do you, what do you mean, man? This is a legal market. You know, it's the it's the major market. It's one of the you know four or five top major markets. It is the market. It's everything. Why won't you learn how to trade? Why would you frown upon that? You know, you don't need to be an Uber driver. You can just trade and make that money. You know, passively. I bought me a um, a laptop. Where my laptop? If I can find it. Anyway, uh, I got me a laptop. And I'm gonna start trading. I'm gonna start traveling and trading now because I know how to make money. I know how to make my rent. I know how to make my mortgage. I know how to do this, and I'm gonna teach people how to do this as well. You know, and I'm I'm in the process of putting a course together. But I said instead of becoming one of these successful guys that you see on here. Hey, I'm I'm such and such bonds, and I'm such and such, and I made three hundred thousand dollars or eleven thousand percent. Be careful with that stuff, man. People tell you how much percent they make. If I start off with a dollar, and I got eleven dollars now, that's a thousand percent. It sounds great, but I only made ten dollars. So be careful with these percentages out here. You know, and these people selling you dreams and whatnot, man. So you just follow my process because I'm I'm someone who put the time in to learn, right? Over five years of training, day night, day night, early morning, day night, day night. The reason why I chose options because it's the most complex vehicle it is to trade. You know, you got stocks, you got commodities, you got futures, you got forex, you got options. Out of all of those, options is the more complex one to learn. But once you master it, you master all stock options, right? So I've put the time in, man. I can tell, I can talk to you about a call. It's the right, but not the obligation to buy a specific underline at a specific price for a certain amount of time. Same thing with a put. You can purchase a put. It's the right, but not the obligation to buy a underline at a specific strike for a specific for a specified amount of time. All right, what are we looking for when we buy? When do you know how to buy? See, this is the thing about trading. You got to know when to get in, right? And you got to know when to get out. That's one thing. Outside of that, you need to know how to get in, and you need to know how to get out. Do I pay attention to the news? No. Well, yes, but no. The news has no bearing on my on my trading. I just I just pay attention to the price action. And I can teach you how. I'm not selling anything right now. I'm just making videos right now. And you're just gonna follow my process. I mean, you're just gonna follow my journey, right? I'm gonna, you know, have music and stuff behind it. And, you know, I'll be doing live trades and, and stuff like that, man. Let me see if I can get a little, um, little action, man. Show y'all a little something, man. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. See, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm really doing this, you know. I'm, I'm, I'm really, it's eBay. Let's look at eBay. You know, eBay's down 51 cent, you know. Let's, let's move IWM, you know. 
You know, I, I'm, I'm, I'm coming up with the opportunities. I'm here working. I'm at home doing what I'm supposed to in order to be successful. But nevertheless, man, options is a vehicle to trade when you have, when you, well, if you have little money, right, to start off with, because people think that you have to have a million dollars to trade. A lot of times, oh, if you don't have $10,000, $25,000, $50,000 portfolio, come on, man, you know, most people who trade with that amount of money, right, so you got the 1% of America who's wealthy, right, then you got 99% of everybody else, right? So what's that 99% of everybody else, right? Probably middle class. You know, middle to upper, maybe it would be about 5%. So it's 94%, 95% of people out there, 93%, what have you, of people out there who's middle to lower class of people who thinks that you need a lot of money to trade. Now you actually don't, man. You know, you can start off with, you know, some hundreds of dollars, man. I started out, I put $80 I had eighty dollars in my account when I first made my first trade. Eighty dollars. I can teach you how to open up an account for free. I can teach you what to open up your account for, right? What options, right? Because you gotta have certain accesses to make certain trades. I'm not just gonna turn, cut you loose and tell you go trade. You know, and lose all your money. Now you wanna sue them because you lost all your money trading on their platform. You gotta know what to do. I can show you that. I can show, you know, I've showed people that I've had, I have an account. I made people money already. I'm, I'm writing, I'm literally writing my first contract right now. 20% on every dollar that I make her, I get 20%. It's nice, man. That's, I just created an avenue for myself. And I'm here because I put in the work. But options, man. Yeah, options. Options is the way to go. Uh, but, uh. My name is El Toro. Passive Income Trader is what I do. Go request me on Facebook. Passive Income Traders with an S. You see the buy sell sign? Uh, I'm creating this literally from ground up right now as we speak. So, uh, yeah, stay tuned. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I'm motivating myself in this, you know, as well as others. But, you know, this is for me. This is for me. This is for me. This is for me. And whoever else is out there. I take heed to this information, man. Welcome to comment, subscribe to my channel. I don't know how everything else works right now, but um, yeah, I'm out here, man. I'm teaching you how to do it. People who are me, people who are as young as me, people who are as old as me, people who are getting ready to retire, children, my children, my son knows what bullish and bears is. He knows what a car, he knows what a put is. Teaching my children this, man. This is a life skill. Teach a man to fish, right? Teach a man to fish. Teach a man to fish. Well, I can just do your fishing for you. <laughs> Either way. But uh, thank you, man. Have a nice day. It's October 1st, 2018. About 2.30, 2.25, 2.26 exactly. Uh, Central Standard Time. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.